it's Andy, and in this video, you're going to learn the solo from Let It Be, played by the Beatles. George Harrison played this on lead guitar. Okay, here we go. Start with fifth fret on the D string, and we're going to hammer on to seventh fret on the D string. So that sounds like this. It helps to put your hammer on finger right above the string in a ready position, so you're ready to go. Okay, first note's a hammer on. Then, after you're done with your hammer on, then you're going to go back to a fifth fret note and play it the normal way. Okay, then the next note is seventh fret on the A string. Then you're going to play fifth fret on the A string. Then you're going to play third fret on the A string. All right, so if you put all that together, it sounds like this hammer, five, seven, five, three. Okay, here's how it sounds fast. Okay, now let's play it with the drum machine. I'm going to count you in on a one, two, three, four, one. You come in after count one. Okay, here it goes. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, play with me. Here it goes. One, two, three, four, one. Play it again. One, two, three, four, one. The next section of the solo starts with seventh fret on the A string. Then goes to 5th fret on the D string, which you play twice. Then go back to 7th fret on the A string again. Then go back to 5th fret on the D string again. So there's only two notes in this part, and you just keep going back and forth between those two notes. And the notes are on different strings, so you have to keep changing strings. 7th fret on the A string, and 5th fret on the D string. So it sounds like this. I'm going to count you in on a 2 count. Here we go. 1, 2. There we go. Play it again. 1, 2. One, two. All right. Let's play the entire solo now. Start over from the beginning. One, two, three, four, one. All right. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, one. section of the solo starts on the 5th fret on the D string, then it plays 7th fret on the D string, then it plays 5th fret on the G string, then you're going to play 7th fret on the G string. Okay, so it's 5-7-5-7. Five, 5-7-5-7. Seven, five, seven. Five, seven, five, seven. Okay, on that last note, you're going to need to do a huge bend. So I recommend a three-finger bend. Stack up all three fingers on the same string and pull the string toward the floor. Five, seven, five, seven. Huge bend right there. So you might consider just playing one finger, one finger, one finger, then a stack of three. Okay, so that sounds like this. Okay, let's practice this section. I'll count you in on a three count. Here we go. 
One, two, three. All right, do it again. One, two, three. Pretty good. One more time. One, two, three. Okay, let's practice the whole solo from the beginning. Here it goes. One, two, three, four, one. Pretty good. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, one. time. Here we go. Get ready. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, the next part of the solo um, leaves off where we just did a bend. And so what you're going to do right now to start this section is you're going to unbend. So you're going to undo the bend that you just played. In other words, at the end of the last section that we studied, you did a bend. And so what you're going to do right now is you're going to hit the string again with your pick and you're going to let the string back go back to a normal position. So I like to call that a unbend or some people call it a release. So you're going to start with a release. It's like a reverse bend. Okay, and then simply play the fifth fret on that same string. So fifth fret on the G string. And that's it. Maybe a little bit of vibrato. So shake that note. If you're not familiar with vibrato, just shake your whole guitar. All right, so this section is easy. It's just to unbend and then the fifth fret. Okay, let's practice this section. I'll count you in on a three count. Here it goes. One, two, three. solo. Good job. 